Hey everybody, it is Wednesday night. It is 7.30 and that means that it is time for Bible Bedtime Stories. We are back in our book, Jesus Calling, Bible Storybook tonight. And we are going to continue to read the stories in order from the beginning of creation all the way through the end of the book of Revelation. And tonight we have another story out of Genesis. This is one that probably everybody knows because it's a very familiar story. It's the story of Noah and it comes from Genesis chapters 6 through 9. Adam and Eve had Cain and Cain had children and his children had children and their children had children. And the earth became full of people. But sadly, most of them forgot about God, and they did bad things. And this filled God's heart with pain. God was so sad about it that he had to stop it. He wanted to make the world better. But there was one man in the whole world who walked with God, and his name was Noah. God told him, Noah, build an ark and pack it with enough food for you and your family and for the male and the female animals that I will send your way. Then all of you enter the boat. Noah did what God said, and animals came in pairs, lions and lambs, butterflies and horses, bluebirds and bears, foxes and elephants. Just as God told Noah, it began to rain. First, just a little, and then big raindrops pounded the earth. Hundreds of raindrops, thousands, millions, billions, trillions of raindrops. There was so much water that the ground started to flood. And Noah's ark, which carried Noah and his family and every kind of animal in the world, it started to float. And before long, the whole earth was covered with water. And God's flood destroyed the bad things and washed them all away. And yet, everyone and everything in the ark were safe. Safe and sound because God said so. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped and the sun came out and slowly the water went down and God's boat came to rest on top of a tall mountain. Noah sent out a dove to look around, and it had no place to land, so it came back to the ark. Noah waited seven days, and then he sent it out again. And this time it returned with a fresh olive leaf in its beak. The flood is over, over, Noah shouted. Trees are growing again, and to celebrate the world's new beginning, God hung a rainbow in the sky. I will never, ever use a flood to destroy the earth, God said. This rainbow is my promise to all of my people. God knew bad things would happen again, but he already had another plan. One day he would send his son, Jesus, to save his children from all evil. Why are you biting? Why are you biting? So a verse from Psalm Ninety-one, verse 4. The Lord will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and your protection. Jesus says, trust me, my child, and don't be afraid. Because 
Jesus takes care of us, his children. Just like a mother bird takes care of her babies, how she puts her wings over them to protect them. That's how Jesus covers us with his love. When we see a rainbow in the sky, we can remember how God loved Noah and cared for Noah's and his family. When we see that rainbow, we can think about just how much God loves us. Would you fold your hands and pray with me tonight? Dear Jesus, thank you for today and for all of the ways that you show us how much you love us. Help us to remember that everything we see during our day, the trees, the sky, the sun, the stars, and everything else are made by you to show us your love. Help us remember when we're afraid, we can trust in you for protection. In your name we pray. Amen. So a couple of things that I want to tell you about that are coming up that I'm super excited about. First of all, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we are bringing back our veggies and ice cream event. But there's a little bit of a difference this time. Instead of doing it inside, we're doing it outside like a drive-in movie. We have a huge screen that we're going to be showing our movie on. And you'll get to stay in your cars or bring blankets and lawn chairs and be in the parking lot and pretend like you're at a drive-in movie. If you're interested in coming to that, have your mom and dad register so we know how many people are coming, so we know how much ice cream to get. So that's next week. A couple weeks after that, we are going to do another one of our parking lot parables. The last one that we had scheduled got canceled because of the rain. So we have rescheduled it for October 10th. And we're gonna be looking at the parables of hidden treasure. And we have a pirate theme for that night. So again, if you're interested in coming, make sure your mom and dad sign up so I know how many people to plan for. The third thing that I wanna tell you about, and this is what I am I think, maybe most excited about, we are getting ready to start jam back up again. Now the problem is, we don't think it's safe yet to meet in person. So we are going to be live streaming Jam right here on our Facebook page and in another spot for our friends who don't have Facebook on Sunday afternoons starting at 1 o'clock. And we are going to start this live stream family jam on Sunday, October. I think it's the 4th. It's the first Sunday in October. So I can't wait for... Uh, you to be with us on Sundays again for Jam, and I'm hoping that you come and join us for Veggies and Ice Cream Drive-In and Parking Lot Parables, and I hope to see you guys really, really soon. We'll be back again with Bible Bedtime Stories on Sunday night for our next story, and we'll be talking about a tower that people tried to build to reach all the way up to the sky. I hope you guys have a great night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I will see you on Sunday. Bye, everybody.